to Wallington filming. Bit of a hints and tips video, or don't worry, the Candleman will find a solution video. Now then, out to you guys. Who buys these pearly arms? I think they retail at about eight to 10 quid, don't they? Pearly arms. And as you can see, after a period of time, even for that amount of money, they fail, right? Now, I rely on this particular arm for my six and a half inch glossing sleeve for the doors. And the problem with them sleeves is they've got quite a wide opening at the end, haven't they? Because they rely on these, uh, these pearly arms to uh, slot into. <laughs> No, 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 no. Hey. So I found myself in a bit of a predicament. But don't worry. Yours truly has come up with a solution to it. Yet yeah? I thought of a solution all by myself. No help from nobody. I thought, what am I going to do? Because I need this. And now I've got to go out and buy another one at like eight to ten pounds, don't I? Because this is knackered and it won't hold my sleeve. So, big problem. Um, and the reason, the reason I, I use them six and a half inch sleeves is because on these doors, you get it done a lot quicker than like a little four inch, don't you? So, yeah, well, I'm, I'm used to it now anyway. So, but don't worry, I've come up with a solution. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Well, then, let's have a bit of a close up. Here's your pony on. Yep. Where is it? There you go. Purdy. Yep. Purdy. And that's how it is now, which is a problem because I rely on it to go in there. Not like the other roller arms that you can buy, like this, I think that's Axis one. You know, you've got the it pushes into that bit there, doesn't it? Same with the Hamiltons. Most of your standard roller arms just push in. But on the bigger sleeves like this, they don't. They rely on that going into there. But as you can see, that fails, which is a big problem. Right? Because now I need to roll my doors and this is knackered. Not only do I end up putting tape round it and shit like that, but it's, it's just... It shot it. And they're quite expensive, to be fair. So, solution, guys. Solution. Yours truly has come up with a solution. You can't believe it, can you? Get one of these with these Moair sleeves. Or, I think, any sleeve on one of these arms does the job. Right? Bit hard to do, one-handed, I know. Hold on, bear with me. Stand that up there. Get this. Push it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, you can do it. Push it. In there, like so. Jobs are good. And <laughs> Tell me what? I don't know where I'm gonna spin it out. I do a spin in it. Out. That's it. Problem solved. Any sleeve on a normal cage should push in there. So what I'm gonna do now is show you it in action that it really does work. Just no end to my talents, guys. No end. That's gonna work a treat now. I'm absolutely wasted as a painter. I should have been a cosmetic surgeon. Um, I'd have probably gone into boob jobs. Yeah, can you imagine that? Cosmetic surgeon doing breast implants. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy. I tell you what, laughing all the way to the bank in that game, ain't you? Anyway, back, back onto the subject. Yeah, back onto the subject. So, yeah, that's all you've got to do. That means you've not got to buy an expensive perdic roller arm, right, for your six and a half inch sleeves. All you gotta do is that.
I tell you what, brilliant idea, absolutely brilliant idea. I don't know where I get them from. Let's roll the door. Right, the first thing I'm gonna do is get my gloves on. Cause rolling doors can be quite messy. <laughs> Cosmetic detergent. Right. And actually it's all roll up uh, cages from Purdy. Wank. Don't need them, don't buy one. There's no point guys, no point. Right, so I've got this door here, got my gloves on, got my gloss, and my modification. Just gonna do the edges. Simple as that. So, the object of this exercise is to show you that it works and it rolls properly and everything. There's no need to buy them pearly cages, this or at 10 quid a pot. That's all you've got to do, simple. And like I say, not just that mower head sleeve, but I've tried it with the other sleeves and they're slotting dead tight. Now let's get this on. As you can see, it's rolling on perfect. I think I might need a bit more hurry up in it. There you go, it works alright, doesn't it? Little fish, getting these grooves. There you go, as you can see, works perfectly fine, not an issue, no problems at the end of anything. So problem solved, happy days. <laughs> right. And there you go, look. It's working fine, that is. No wrong with that. Get out man, can you? Lovely job, there. Right then guys, I've just done about 10 doors with that roller, yeah, and as you can see, it does go down a little bit, needless to say, but yeah, and what you'll find is, when you take it out, it'll just pull that off, so what you got to do is get a screwdriver, and just push that, and it pops out the bottom, like so. Jobs are good in. And just put the cap back in. But I'm gonna do something else. 
and then just put that back in your, your water. Well, there you go. So that's it basically. What I'm gonna do is get that sleeve, get a bit of super glue and just glue it in there. Because like, I'll be using this sleeve for months and months, maybe a year. Um, so all I'm gonna do is get that, that little nowhere sleeve or, or get another one, just whack a little bit of glue on it or, well, I don't know, you could use anything, silicon glue, anything. Just glue it into place so every time you pull the arm out, um, it stays in place. Jobs are good and ain't got to keep buying a new purdy cage at 10 quid a pop because they don't last long. Uh, and this is a glossing sleeve, so this is going to last me forever and a day because it's not getting worn out really as such, is it? But yeah, that's the plan. Just glue that little sleeve in place. Stop it moving down just so you can take the, the, uh, the arm of the cage out. Uh, without keep pushing it through, do you know what I mean? Simple, easy solution. Yeah, another bright idea of mine, <laughs> just to help you guys out. Hey, things I do. But yeah, that's that's about it. So just get one of them sleeves, glue it in place, roll your doors, whatever you gotta do with your roller. Pull the arm out when that that's glued in that little slot there. Jobs are good, and in, it. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Um, this little video on uh, solving the purdy arm problem because no doubt there's quite a lot of you out there that have had the same issue where it just starts falling to bits if you've got any other bright ideas that you want me to do a video on just take a photo or something of something you thought about and uh, I'll do a video on it and let everybody else know, you know what I mean? Because that's what it's about, sharing, it is caring, <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, that's about it um, from yours truly. Um, until next time, guys, keep the flame burning. <laughs>